Wednesday. Before we get into today's video, I want to announce that I am doing a giveaway. This giveaway will consist of a PS4 or Xbox £50 gift card. To gain the chance to win that gift card, you need to leave a like on the video and comment down below, hashtag ModSquad for your chance to win. I will be choosing a winner from the comment section, so good luck. And with that said, let's get on with the video. What's up Mod Squad? MOB back with another Division 2 video and today I'm bringing you the brand new assault rifle that came with episode 3, the Honey Badger. Now when I heard this gun was coming to the Division 2, I was extremely hyped. The Honey Badger has been one of my favourite guns of all time for a very long time. So I'm so happy that it's in the game. In this video today, we're going to be looking over it. And then I'm going to show you guys some gameplay, some PvP gameplay. I've seen a lot of PvE gameplay at the moment with these new guns. And, you know, let's get some PvP action going. So starting off by looking at the gun and its damage. The damage varies depending on your build. The RPM is 790 rounds per minute. That is without Allegro on this gun. We have 50 in the magazine. That is with the extended clip. Now, I will say this gun comes with three attachments. I don't know why they didn't include the muzzle, uh, why they wouldn't allow it, because this gun is very, very similar to the Carbine 7, which has all the attachments. And they are very, very close in damage, and they have the exact same fire rate. Um, kind of disappointing, really. But it doesn't take too much away from this gun in all honesty because it still absolutely wrecks. Now when it comes down to getting the Honey Badger, I believe it drops in all activities within the game. It's a random drop, it's just in the pool all over the game. But as it currently stands, you can get the Honey Badger in Cassie Mendoza's Vendor. So make sure you find the snitch, you find her Vendor, head over there and grab this gun up. As far as I remember, the roll on it isn't the greatest, but if you haven't got it, and want it nonetheless, head over to that vendor and grab it. With that said, I'm going to leave you guys with some PvP gameplay to showcase this weapon in. I went for something a little bit different this time. Instead of going for the montage theme that I usually do, I put in a couple of gameplays. One I went 16-0, the other I went 13-0. I will also recommend if you're going to pick this gun up that you go for Allegro as the second talent and um, it just boosts up the RPM to over 800. It's still very viable at 790 but you know the faster the better, the more burst damage the better. Anyway guys I appreciate you watching, don't forget to smash that like button to support the channel. If you're new subscribe for lots more Division 2 content and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out Mod Squad. The boost is being taken by allies. The boost has been taken by allies. 
An agent needs assistance. Nobody's pulling out. The fight goes on. There are no more rogue reinforcements. Eliminate whoever's left. Specialization supply drop has been arranged for you. It's a win. Solid work.
Nobody's playing. A specialization supply drop has been arranged for you. An agent needs assistance. Agent down. 